So we're here today and we're talking about prospecting and cold calling, you know, whatever you want to call it, warm calling. There is one of the biggest stigmas still about this activity. It's almost like there's two camps, those that do it and enjoy it and those that avoid it and hate it. I think one of the things we need to recognise though in our sales, sales toolkit is that cold calling should and could be part of our multi-channel approach. You know, and cold calling doesn't always have to be the telephone, right? It can be an email, it can be social media, it can be a phone call. But cold calling or cold outreach should be part of your sales toolkit because it generates new prospects. And as a seller, as a business owner, as somebody that has to put new revenue into their business, you have to reach new clients. And outreach on the phone has been proven to be statistically the most successful activity to do. So you have to deal with prospecting and cold calling. I mean, remember, the, the good part about this is that your buyers buy this way. You know, buyers actually are becoming open and receptive to take a value-adding phone call. You know, even though they might have put a gatekeeper in the way uh, to, to stop you getting through the first time, if you're building the relationships, if you're adding value, you'll get through on that phone and you'll be able to make that appointment to create that next step, that next conversation. But like all things in sales, nothing happens without you dedicating the time to do it. So the last piece of advice is here. Find out when your buyers are more, li more likely to buy. Carve out the time in your schedule and dedicate time to do it.